Hello everyone, welcome back to another FU Money. A start of the week, today is Monday. We had a bit of a bloodbath in the past few two weeks. So let's go directly to the charts and see what's happening. So here it is, the screen share. And we will start by the price to time model. Uh, so third halving and we go directly to the price action on the weekly chart of the price to time model so we had two weeks of downside uh, some people called it a bloodbath some some people called it the end of crypto bitcoin is dead by the millionth time and as you guys can see we didn't did not even touch the 20 uh, week simple moving average the green line over here we had a rebound from this level and we are now trading around 53,700. So let's see if we can uh, in the next few hours or days recover all the loss of the past week and form a third range boundary which you guys will be able to see on the pro framework um, um, indicator when I go to that chart. So obviously we are below the threshold of the price of time model so that means we are not going to have any big corrections right now and uh, the only thing that i found that to be a little weird is that we didn't touch the 20 week simple moving average as we should have done because that would have been a much nicer um, reversal of the price action to the upside with the support of the 20 weak simple moving average however this moving average is around 44k so we would have to um, go a lot more to the downside just to touch it and we didn't we stopped around the 47k so we remain three thousand dollars above the moving average so right now we are just going up since a few hours ago this started immediately after the close of the week um it almost sounds like a conspiracy but i would have enjoyed that we at least we could have touched the moving average which would um, show us a bit more solid reversal uh, based on the moving average but however we are going up and let's see what happens in the next few hours and days during this week so that's it for the price to time model uh, just a note a quick note on the rsi we are now below overbought territory and we are turning back up on the weekly so just a small zoom here we are going back up on the weekly of the rsi so let's uh, check the mri strategy uh, this is what i was not expecting but however we were able to have a reversal before touching the moving average you just saw on the previous chart so we had a sell sign the sell sign worked perfectly uh, the MRI is a very accurate indicator so in this case it triggered you know a sell sign when we passed below this level of that candle over there and as soon as that happened we went straight down so now we have recovered more than I would say two-thirds of the losses of the last week so that's not a bad sign and let's see what the volume is telling us so we are still on the weekly basis we are still going back down on volume but we see i see some signs from the last two weeks that the volume could start to stabilize and probably go sideways instead of just continue to go down and having this bearish divergence that we have been having for the last weeks however the last uh, two weeks to be more precise and the current week which is still developing are going up and the price was coming down so possibly if we continue to see this trend for the next few weeks we could start developing a bullish divergence which would be a very good uh, after a retracement like what we had the macd finally crossed to the downside so the macd is now bearish on the weekly but it's not coming down in a very steep uh, inclination so basically we are going 
we are stabilizing this going down here of the blue line and possibly we will continue if we continue to go up or at least ranging on the price action i see the macd stabilizing and going sideways too and the bars not increasing to the downsides very much the fissure distance from the ema is a bit distant from the neutral point so let's uh, quickly go to the daily so the daily looks very good in terms of what the 100 period moving average was able to do it supported the price here we have an mri on the daily an mri bottom again the accuracy of the mri was very very good in this case so we had a one to nine uh, reversal of the price action up there when we went above 60,000 on the ninth candle we had an MRI uh, on the daily an MRI bottom number one green indication to buy and precisely after that candle as soon as the weekly closed we started to go up so I like the MRI because of this because many times I would not say 100% of the times but many times the MRI is very accurate kudos to tone vase because of that and his developer and it has been very a very good indicator indeed so on the daily you can see what i was saying uh, on the previous chart the volume is now stabilizing so we are now going sideways after just going up for a bit and now sideways so the cooling down of the going down on the volume is good the rsi almost almost went to oversold territory almost touched the line there but it turned back up again this is what we missed this is what i was saying about touching the 20 uh, week simple moving average if we did that if we went down another three thousand dollars probably we would have been in oversold territory which would have been much better for the reversal of the price action in a in a cleaner way but however we almost went there and that's also not bad the macd is now on the daily turning sideways so i see a decline in this bearish move we are cooling down the next bar is not red already so it's turning white the lines are going sideways so in this case i believe the phase of going down is over for now and let's now go to the four hour chart so the bitmax funding rate continues to be negative which is very very good for the bulls um people are trying to bet on um on a reversal of the price immediately and they are going short on bitcoin which is very stupid in my opinion when you have a bull market you should never short an asset like this unless you know what you're doing and you are a very experienced trader but however people are shorting a lot you see the zero line the neutral line is here i can even zoom in a bit so this is where the hand is is the zero line and the last five bars are going to the downside on the negative territory and three of them even 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 crossed my threshold of 0 0.06 uh to the downside which is incredibly bullish for the market sentiment I like that configuration of BitMEX funding rate being negative. That's also helping the price action to go to the upside. We the small retracement that just started right now. So this is 15 minutes ago. Uh, this is the four hours. So we 15 minutes ago, we just started a small retracement, retracement to test again the... Uh, so this is the 50 period. The 50 period moving average on the four hour. So... I believe that we are going to hold the price uh, here. We could have a bit of retracement, but continue to the upside. And I will show you the pro framework right now. So just a quick look at the one hour just to check the BitMEX funding rate. Yep, it continues to go down on negative. So for the last few hours, we had a lot of negative BitMEX funding rate. As you know already, when you have negative uh, funding rate, it's a very um, it's, it's it's a very good structure for the bullish scenario of the price action when you have a lot of positive funding rate it's good for the bearish scenario of the price action so let's go back to the chart so the one hour looks that it's we had an mri top on the one hour however the next candle did not respect the mri in this case and continue to go up to find support on the 200 period 
uh, moving average of the one hour chart and we are now seeing a bit of a cooldown in this big move to the upside so let's see if we continue to find support on the 200 period or not and you guys know already that on the daily you have a one of nine green so that's a very good indication that this might continue after a small retracement we might continue to go up so let's go now to the pro indicators framework and we can start with the daily i will continue to have my box around here because i believe that the storm is not completely over so it's possible that we have this retracement up but we could still a small probability uh, of going back down and retest the second range boundary level at around 47,000. Uh, by the way, the second range boundary that I had before was invalidated, so we now have a new one around 47, 47 exactly, let me see, yeah, 47,000. And I will leave the box there because there's still a small probability, uh, probably in the one digit, percentage that we could still go down to retest again around the 44k 43k uh, so i will leave the box there and see what happens next however in the daily on the pro frameworks i see the sine wave and momentum are okay i have a bullish sign down here price okay too so the biggest probability right now is that we continue to go up at least to retest the third range boundary breakout line that we had previously. So what I see happening in probabilities is I give it a very, very small probability that we could go down here from the current price action. This would be a dead can't bounce and we could still go around the 40K, 44K, sorry, and probably range for some time and then probably retest the third range boundary line. So this is one of the possibilities. I don't see it happening uh, with a big probability, but however, it's still possible. So that's why I'm leaving the box there. Another probability is that we continue to go up with some retracements, of course. We could do something like that and then retest the third range boundary uh, line, which is the orange dashed line over there. I can zoom it a bit for you guys to see so we could continue to go up probably some kind of retracement we never go up or almost never go up in a straight line that would be a very good situation which rarely happens so we could go to uh, try to create a third range boundary retesting the previous one and if that happens i would give it a big probability to happen between 58,000 and 60,000. so let me just go back here and see yeah so this is the orange dashed line is exactly on 60,000. this is the previous third range boundary breakout line from that that range boundary over there you guys can see i will show you on the four hour just next to this one and probably i would for sure try to wait for a mature range to form here so the third range boundary i don't believe that would be the breakout for a new all-time high the biggest probability is that i could take some profit again before this goes down and forms a range which will mat mature a bit more before some time that we will have to pass until we get to new all-time highs so the biggest probability in my opinion here would be that we could initiate a new range forming a third range boundary, probably not being able to break uh, the third range boundary, the previous one line, coming back down, forming a fourth range boundary. I still don't know where we would have to see what happens and throw some Fibonacci here, but probably going back down again to retest lower levels as we did here, comparing to that one. And probably after the fourth range boundary, then a new retest of this line and we could break out again to the upside. So guys, prepare because it's possible that we will have to have a lot of patience from now on. Because if we are going to wait for a third range boundary to take some profits off the table, probably coming back down for a fourth range boundary, we might see some range in the next few days or weeks. Uh, so I would advise you guys not to do anything crazy. You know already that you never trade inside the range. You just trade the boundaries. So you, you need a lot of patience right now. 
and wait for the developments to see if we are going to go for the least probability which is the retest of the lows from here where we are right now or if we are going to have a small retracement going back to retest again uh, to the upside to retest the previous third, third range boundary let's see what happens if we go there 58,000 60,000 would be my guess for the new third range boundary uh, and then if we are able to break out from that line that's good for everyone you can you can trend follow uh, but the biggest probability for me right now is that we could go there the, retre the retest of the line could fail and we could come back down so take profit here is not a bad option in that case wait for the range to be mature wait for the fourth range boundary and possibly new lows to retest the 44k and then this would be a great opportunity to go long again and that's what you need you need patience for this to develop so you need to understand what the market is going to do so let's take a look on the four hour let's zoom in a bit so you guys can see that the third range boundary you had previously was around 60k uh, this is the price action currently. We are going to start having uh, some some resistance around this level. You guys know that this is a very this was support previously. Now it's resistance, so we are already having a small retracement. Uh, the sec the new second range boundary is here. Previously it was there, but as this yesterday went a bit more to the downside than that level, we formed a new second range boundary. And now the possibility is that we could go up, see some resistance here, and then try to retest the third range boundary we had previously. So I'm just repeating myself, but you can, you guys can see better on the four hour chart. So if we go there and we retest that line and we are rejected, probably some take profit here and wait for the, the range to be mature and probably go long again on a fourth range boundary down here on these levels. So let's see what happens. Uh, this is not a time to go crazy. This is a time for patience. Uh, so I would uh, advise everyone to wait. If you did not go long here, you are now in the dump zone, as you guys know already. In between the, the boundaries, uh, all that area is the dump zone. You never know where the market is going to go. So just wait. Be patient. Let's see how this develops. If we continue to go up, if we retrace back down, Let's see what happens. I just increased the box because it's possible that we go for the third, third range boundary and then come back down for the fourth one. Let's see what happens. Let's, uh, let's wait for this range to develop. And I will, of course, come here every day to tell you guys what's happening in the markets. So for now, I will... Uh, I will stop repeating myself. I will stop the screen share. If you enjoy this content, uh, and my analysis gently touch the like button share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new and i will see you for sure in the next one bye bye